Do you know what I hate the most? Hypocrites. People who say one thing but do the other. People who act like an angel but being in reality a devil. People say that say they are care about the environment but are responsible for the most biggest problem on this planet uh, when it comes to environmental issues. People who say that they are caring about environments, but are eating animal flesh. The dismembered corpse of an animal, who is accidentally the most biggest environmental disaster on this planet, with around something like 51% of all the greenhouse gas emissions and around 91% of all the deforestation and of course all the ocean dead zones in the water that are, have increased with more than 10 times since 1950. In the 1950s there were just around 50 ocean dead zones in the world or in the world but today there are more than 500 of these toxic lumps in the water, mainly caused by animal agriculture. Now, say me again that you are an environmentalist and you can be say that with a serious smile on your face, right? You are a joke, or you are a sarcasm. Go vegan. It is not hard. Eat beans, eat lentils, eat lagoons. The things I just say are the most cheapest things you can eat, mate. And there are always more healthy, of course, than the dismembered corpses of animals that have lain for months in a warehouse filled with blood and pass, by the way, and worms and antibiotic resistant bacteria. Now, I hate also people who claim that they are caring about animals, but are eating them. Um, because I hate hypocrites. Why? And now you don't need animals to survive, just like I have said. And also, um, animal agriculture is the most biggest cause of animal abuse. Um, you cannot deny what a serious play in your eyes that animal agriculture um, evolved to killing of animals and that killing animals is cruel. If you think that um, dog fighting is cruel, then you don't can deny that um, the things that are happening in, an, in the animal agriculture industry in the slaughterhouses is not cruel. So get a reality grip, people. Why should you intentional cause suffering to innocent animals when it is not necessary, specifically when you call yourself an animal lover. Do you understand what I mean with that? And I'm not mean. I speak for the animals. I speak for the animals the same way I want to be spoken for when I am the victim. Place yourself for one moment in their position. Born into a prison, forced into existence, living in your sh own shit most of the time, living just a small fracture of your natural lifespan. The case of pigs just in a half year and pigs can live up to the age of 15 and to get a chance. Cows can live up to 20 uh, to 25 if they get a chance. Cows are killed when they are just two and a half to seven years. Chickens can live up to the age of 10 are killed when they are, are just on the tender age of one and a half when it's our layer chickens and when there are the chickens that are raised for consumption and one half year do you 
do want you to know why I am counting the age there there are executors. No, because there are technically still <laughs> you can s are um, occur in their baby stage, in their child stage. So this does not make animal body part consumption as animal abusers, it makes them also baby animal abusers. And what kind of sick fuck abuse animals, specifically when there are babies with children? Go vegan. Stop supporting the animal terrorist organization called the animal agriculture industry. And yes, I called them out for what they're being, because there are by any means and any definitions a terrorist organization. And when you are buying animals and their secretions, you are actually funding terrorism. Terrorism, the act of terrorizing, the act of torture, kidnapping, mass murder, rape, exploitation, Intimidation with a violent intent. Exactly. It is time to wake up. The rainforests do not belong to people like Bolsonaro or Donald Trump or any other sick psychotic dictator. This what belongs to all the living beings on this planet that live with us. Animals are not made for us. They live with us. And people like Donald Trump, the troll of, of um, the United States, and the demon lord, Bolsonaro, that guy of uh, Brazil, should be punished on the same way that Nazi soldiers should be pan were punished. Hang it. Why? Here's why. Because they are actually exterminating groups of people and animals. They are destroying the environment. They are traitors to their own species and to the earth. And as studies, these words are hard and controversial to you. Then uh, you have never watched it from the victim's point of view. You have never watched the burning of the rainforest from the native people that live there point of view. You have never watched it from the bit from the monkeys who have seen their whole homes being burned in front of their eyes. You have never watched it from all the trillions of insects that live there. You have nothing watched it from all the birds that have their homes in the Amazon rainforests. If you find it hard and controversial, then you have never watched it from the victim's point of view. You're narcissistic a little scum. You ranchers, you are not the victims. You animal body part consumers are not the victims. Animal body parts consumers, carnists, you are responsible by proxy. Just like the Charles Manson was responsible for the Charles Manson home murders by proxy. He did not take place in it himself. Other people are responsible for that. He only give comments. And that's how capitalism can make um, normal people into violent scumbags. Supply and they hell. Or, I must say, supply. Watch any situation always from the victim's point of view. What's the situation? of the burning from the rainforest, from the native Americans that live there, from the Amazon tribe people, or how you want to call it, them. Watch it from the animals 
has home stoic in a way. Watch it from the animal slaves who are executed long before their life on the cattle ranchers slave plantations. Uh, if you are not a victim, never, 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 never watch it from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty. Say that their life don't matter at all. Say that they are replaceable, that they are despairable, that they are wordless. That you can mock their entire existence and that they have to prove to you why you should not treat them like shit. But when you are the victim, or you speak up for the victims, if you are the liberationists, the abolitionists, if you are the slaves, if you are the victims in the scenario, place them yourself in the victims of the scenario. Things look a lot different from that angle. So, awaken. And next time you plan an assassination as attempt on that fascist dictator, please be careful and let that knife be toxic. So the fascist dictator will die and not get more support 